kutaka kuwapisha kindiki wangeshindwa eti mkaone angekataa kwenda kumwapisha they they know what they doing they know kindiki atarudi tu kwa interior cs it pending pending kesi nyingine wakiona tunasahau mbunge aenda appeal if regard wins because he might win kuna koto wa appeal watatungoja hapa tena na kaskando wanataka kuuza kitu kingine tena watupeleka oh itani imeanza ndio ndio the moment you realize fundi tumekuwa na yeye ameanza kwenda kutembea kwenda huko achana na yeye don't even hate asante fundi umekuwa na sisi hasa tukujiangaze like you died so to watch to go emotion I'm, 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 I'm a Kenyan and I'm emotional too, but that's our biggest weakness. And we may invest for you, Kitu Sana. Yani to Murumia Gashawa had this idea like if MPs and senators were being under Yumbani, we wouldn't vote for some good senators now. My MP Jualisema, the guy must go. Jualinuliwa. Nukuna wanya tutarudisha wa jinga, Jua Mesimama na Gashawa. What the difference sometimes ata wale mwenye nani anaitwa the nakuru senator ata alisema tuna turudishe huko nyuma ni fadhali sometimes it makes sense just say hata tuko wajinga zaidi e kama sasa hivi unajua like amenya na post ni juu adani kuna ma influencer wamelipwa na post hizo vitu they're not even interested ata wale jamaa sasa hivi ni kama amenuzi relevance na alitupatia the yaani alitupatia the heart kwenye ilikuwa inatakiwa and we don't care kitu lako ilipeano tulifanya nini i don't know kama ilienda kabisa but hivi imepeano tutaongea tumefocus the gg what a sign deal wa urudisho wa jamani fundi fundi can you hear me yeah uh, we would request for you to uh, finish okay. um to finish okay. your points uh, so that we can as many people talk. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Nimemaliza but mimi kitu nasema Ukiona kitu unafanya ni right do it. Kesho kuna uhuru park. Kama ukiona unataka kwenda as you please go. Kama una kuna influence don't. Anything can happen. You we are still fighting. Thanks. Karibu sana. Thank you so much Funde as he has said come on and our group go and we also keep our, an eye on things that are happening and Namanya is posting about Adani to see sa how here uh my sister Toraya the mic is yours well um, thank you so much now first I went to honor and give respect to our fallen heroes Pipita ameongea kila kitu yenye tu ningeongea and fundi and I want to appreciate Pipita hiyo song I'm play it's always my pinned tweet I just woke up one day nika decide acha tu niandike kwa my pinned tweet na kuanga hapo a lot of distractions many things are happening in, my, in the country and we are focusing on the minor irrelevant issues being brought about by irrelevant people um morara agent of destruction okay i won't say i don't know how to speak it but to be honest me i want to say one thing whatever we are asking from the government you should be the first one to show it as a person give us that you can't say you can't be account you don't want to be held accountable you don't want this we are going this way you are going that way no 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 and the good thing uh, is that to me i know we are leaderless and being leaderless had it on privileges advantages so me sina mingi ya kusema umoja ni nguvu utengano ni udhaifu tupatane kwa uhuru park we reclaim this land all of us because soon ata sisi tutauzo if things go the way they are going tutauzo tutauzo sasa hivi watu wame 
Tana attention tu mtu ameumia amefanya nini kwa raha zake sisi hatukumwambia aende huko. We said tunataka si wote tupatane uhuru pak. Anyway, pole kwa kuumia lakini we need a listening ear. As a leader unafaa kuwe una listen to watu. Don't make decisions just because you think you are final. Like me, I want to say to say that if he goes on that way, yeye na ruto hawana tofauti. People are advising their advisors and it can't work out. Ruto ana advice advisors wake. Huyo pia ana advice advisors wake. Tunamwambia twende uhuru kwake. Ataki anaenda kufagia. Why would they choose another day? Anyway, that's for another day. Kesho ni mashujaa day. Let's go on our fallen heroes. Yeah. Learn to listen. Hiyo ndo kitu tu inaweza sema. Kusikiza as a leader, kusikiza it's more better than hata kuongea. If you be when you are giving things around and doing things on your own without giving a listening ear, you are just being a boss. And there is a big difference between a boss and a leader. To boss people around and we atutakaliwa tulambe ruto na tukuje kulamba mtu mwingine. We are tired. We are damn fucking tired. So, wewe ukisikia una utaki nini ama nini kanyaga kubwa kubwa ondokea gari bana. Hii mwendo ni refu bana. Hii safari ni ndefu. Kisikia imekuchosha shuka. Kanyaga kubwa kubwa. Usitulete kutupeleka hivi kulienda kukawa she she she. Let me tell you this. I'm not against us doing civic education. But trust me, we are going to do it to ifanye to ifanye. And the same same people. Kenyans forget so easily. Same same people watakuwa wa kwanza ku vote Ruto. You saw what happened after Ndwale ame kila mtu alikuwa Ndwale this Ndwale that Ndwale Ndwale but let's go alirudishwa si yes at sijui Simba like seriously like seriously these people can only understand one language your streets civic education we si we fanya civic education kivyako but make sure to me the streets hiyo ndo language hii gaba inaelewa mind you wamesha wamesha chukulia constitution kama kitabu ya kupepetea moto ama kupepetea njebe mtu akihisi joto hakuna mtu anai respect sisi ndo tumebaki hapa tufanye civic education sijui tusimame and let me tell you one thing we say we are draining the swamp but trust me we can't make it without akina ukio mtata let's not fool ourselves kwa nini we need these people they know how to play this chess they have been in this chess many years the other day morara was told we invite them and he said what he doesn't want any advice for political whatever because he knows about kenyan politics and blah 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 yeah, yeah, Ruto hawana tofauti and I'm not afraid to say that. Listen, listen. Ruto hezi sikiza watu. Mbona hata wewe si hata hata angejidanganya kidogo atusikize. Anyway, we are not here to talk about him. But to be honest, focus. Wewe ndo unajua kitu inakusukuma, wewe ndo unajua masaibu inakusukuma, watu wanakufa hospitali, fees, my education ndo hiyo hatuwezi soma, sijui ketrako ndo hiyo hatuwezi lipa token saa hii ni shida stima, airport inaenda, mara bla bla bla, mara this mara that, wa kila kona na tumefocus tu na gashagwa this gashagwa that. Gashagwa ameshagwa nini? Bana alikuwa amenyamaza siku tulikuwa tunaoliwa street. Mimi aende akose kuenda it's none of my fucking business. I ende akose kuenda ainyusu aje mimi ruto ni mkale ni mnandi kwanza mnandi kama mimi na sijaiona ameleta kiroma kwa tebo yetu hata tukilala njaa atambui can we stop for once this tribal bullshit this that this that ati ingekuwa ni watu wa waluya mungeona no hebu to forget about it to focus na cheni niwaambie kitu moja one day mtanikumbuka do what is right do what you think is right for you fanya kitu yenye inakusukuma we all need a better kenya kila mtu anataka a better tomorrow trust me tutakuja kuta, kujipata sisi ni wachingu weusi if things go the way they are going can you imagine kenyans ma professionals working sustaining big companies in foreign countries why can't we sustain our country mbona tukubali adani mi wala inalala naamka nakumbuka adani iko bado nasikia kuchizi 
Adani iko na more than 10 crimes zenye like lies zenye ziko crimes ziko hey, yeah, mwadani Adani this Adani that Adani 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 everything now Adani ni ruto na raina for Christ's sake We drain the swamp wale nyumbani then everybody goes home tukuje tuchukue mtu kama ukiwa mtata unaangalia mse okay si semi si tetei o mtata hebu msini attack si tetei i'm just giving an example kama ni ukiwa mtata tufanye hivi tufanye hivi so kama ni ukia arudi ama asirudi lakini kukuja kusema no. we have turned a revolution into politics and if we go in a political way wase hatuta win i swear hatuta win we need to come together sisi wote kama ni civic educ ingekuwa ina make sense wangekuja si wote pamoja kama Eric Hughes alisema ya mashujaa wote wakuja waseme eh juu mashujaa walikufa kila county tuende kila county bonia nda hivi fulani fulani enda hivi fulani fulani enda hivi inge make sense lakini kukaa then the last day unakuja kusema tunaenda kufagia naro tunaenda kufagia nini hiyo tunaenda kufagia hiyo siku ndo tutafagia ruto atoke bana yo we not going to allow those fucking distractions focus wao kishindwa kuenda na watu wenye wanaenda kanyaga kubwa kubwa rudu kai mwanga niacha ni nyamazi <laughs> thank you toria yani i keep telling people and dani ni ruta hawaniske and dani yako ndani ya state house a book just open and fo- open your two eyes and dani is in the state house when you tutoria mesema we are, we are not giving a little f for anyone who is distracting us focus on tomorrow on mashuja day anyway uh, we have the little show and then uh, the mic is yours yeah, uh, yeah. pole yeah. co-host uh, well, yeah, what i want to remind everyone is dress code ya kesho black usisahau flag uh, na pia appeal to to our medics please um if you can be available you know because i know there will be a lot of people vile mulifanya wakati wa 25th our medics you are our heroes tomorrow and please continue offering your services for the movement we but we celebrate you our medics mumesimama na movement na nyinyi tomorrow we recognize you as our heroes so uh, please medics kesho uh, najua kwamba mumepanga uh mambo ya fast aid na nini yote just in case imetokea pale urupak so thank you so much yeah continue the co-host okay wanjiro kiasi ni hope in kidogo tu ndo nishuke uh like able to see uziwe uoga msee asisemaye ati tutaenda kuuliwa tunauliwa yeye ndo amepanga venye tutauliwa ama ni nini hebu tusiuziwe uoga we kama umeshapanga na gava venye mtatumaliza bana umtuambie mapema mwache kutuambia ati tukienda huko tutauliwa kila mtu maisha yake na anapenda wanapanga kutumaliza baba wanapanga kutumaliza anyway the real job karibu and tera so uh, you are here tomorrow and keep it strict to three minutes ili tupatie kila mtu um, time ya kuongea the real job thank you thank you thank you wanjiru uh, i greet you all who are in the space today we are going through a very difficult time as kenyans It is actually in fact extreme sports to be a Kenyan right now because you never know what is coming your way you wake up to every wrong information but yes we are Kenyans and Kenya is our business to encourage us or motivate us or or I don't know the people who we feel that through their actions we were able to learn something one of the things that we've done as a norm in our country is to celebrate mashuja and only recognize the people who fought for our independence not to water this down the people who fought for our independence did such a great job i think someone like kimadi by the time he was fighting for independence he was actually He would be a Gen Z now because he was in his 20s and he, he was actually killed in his early 30s in, in his early 30s so he would be just the same age as most of us 
And that is such an encouragement to me personally. And I always draw a lot of uh, uh, lessons from Kimadi. But I can't relate to that because most of this happened when I was not yet even born. I can't relate to that. But let me tell you what I can relate to. I can relate to the struggles that we've gone through as a country, some of which have participated. I can relate to some of the things that we've tried to champion as citizens. Actually, even better, responsible citizens. I can relate to that. It is quite unfortunate that revolutions sometimes always end up being fatal. But why? Why should we lose people who are just asking, championing for, for, for just good governance, raising questions, raising concerns? Why should we lose such people? Yet, it is very difficult to lose the people who actually cause these atrocities. It is very difficult to lose someone who orders for this kind of uh, brutality on citizens. But the citizens themselves, it is very easy. And we just, it is, it is easy to announce that, you know, today we had protests and three people died. Very easy to announce. But when one politician dies, the whole country is taken by surprise and it becomes serious information. And they are even talked about so many times. The media will start telling you their history, their family, their stories. But Rex died. Cullen died. Those we can relate to. People we were with in the streets. Those are our heroes. And we are not wrong to identify them as heroes because we identify with them. We were with them. And we recognize that they were fighting for what we are still fighting for up to now. It would be betrayal to stop fighting because of intimidations. If they wake up today and find that we have just reduced the pace by which we were, we were championing for this, they would feel betrayed. They will really feel betrayed and they would feel they would regret why they went to the street in the first place. They would blame us. How do we fix this? We cannot stop. Repeater alluded to the Bangladesh revolution that actually was successful. And this thing, I've said it before, you will be called prisoners when you try a revolution and you fail. But when you succeed, you will form the next government. And when you form the next government, you will go after all these people who are killing people. A very good example is Bangladesh. They, are ordered for, they have ordered for arrest of their president, the lady, and 40 other politicians who are with her, including some of them in the military. That is what happens if a revolution is successful, you go after them because they will come after you very hard. That is what they do. If we don't plan, that is a planning to fail. Planning does not really need, a revolution does not need an, an, an elaborate plan that we need to sit down and craft a plan of how we are going to mobilize and be in a revolution. No. Revolution is all over the world. History. Revolution is usually driven by spirit. When Kimadi was being strangled, he said, the blood, my blood, will water the spirit of independence. Therefore, the blood of our fallen soldiers will water the spirit of this revolution. We should not take that for granted. Those bloods that were shed and not even only that. There are people who have been killed. We, in in Kware, we found bodies. And it is so normal. And it, you're even rewarded for not doing your job. You're even elevated from a CS of interior 
to a deputy president for not investigating deaths. It is a complete failure of the president directly. William Samoy Ruto is a complete failure. Article 238 requires him to protect the lives of Kenyans. He does not. That means even the life of one individual lost is supposed to be accountable for that. He is never accounted for life. It is just, it is shocking that a regime that came with the, the, with, the, with, the, with the theocratic agenda, the name, oh, we are God, we are God chosen, just go around killing people. So tomorrow... Um, the, uh, Bill Joe? Yes. Uh, kindly, you're so that we can have as many speakers. Thank you, thank you, Anjiru. I stand guided. So tomorrow, we go out. We have always... We, we, me, personally, I will be there. I never miss. I never, I never, I've never missed uh, going out. I started going out for this Mandamanos things way back. And you, you know, you know, anybody who has been a Raila supporter, we've been going for demonstrations ever since. In 2023, we were there, comrades were killed. But in this time round, this feels right. It feels even much better than any other revolution I've ever, any other thing I've ever tried to champion for. And therefore, tomorrow, personally, I will not ask you to come. Me, I will go. Anybody who wants to go, join us tomorrow. We will be there. We will be remembering our fallen soldiers. Thank you very much, uh, Wanjiru and... and